All right, Carter, we're going to go ahead and take a look at your motion here from the side. I've got you paired up with you, Darvish. The um, main reason I chose him to match you up with here from this angle is because um, he's a real hard thrower, throws you know mid-90s, touches 97 miles per hour, um, and you guys have some similarities in your delivery, but I think you'll see some things that he does, particularly with his lower half, um, his hips, and his legs, that you can work on implementing into your and incorporating into your own delivery uh, to get even more powerful. Because I think for a pitcher your age, you do a lot of things very, very well. Um, so I can tell you, you've worked very hard and developed um, a good, powerful pitching delivery. You get tremendous early momentum towards home plate, which is phenomenal for a kid your age. Um, the main thing I want to discuss and talk about in this analysis is how it's important to get that momentum towards your target, um, but in the process, we don't want to lose rotational power. And the one thing I'm seeing a bit is opening up a little bit early with your lower half, your your front foot, front knee, and front hip, and in the process you lose some power that way. So let's just go ahead and watch you go through your motion here. First off, it's kind of a, a unique beginning there, kind of going over the head and then stepping to the side like that, but um, you know, if that's your style, I totally am uh, all for that, developing your own style. You got that big high leg lift right there, we come way up you know, up to your, your chin even, which is you know very exaggerated high leg lift. I'm not opposed to that by any means. Um, the only reason I would ever steer a guy away from doing something like that is if it, if it threw them off balance or if it created um, any other problems. The one thing that that can tend to lead to is, you know, we don't want the lead leg, the lift leg, to be leading all of the action in your pitch and delivery. Really, you want to get your hips moving down the mound and your power to be coming more from your, your back half, your back leg. Uh, when you leave your, when you lift your leg big like that, have that big leg lift, then the tendency sometimes is to swing the lead leg out and open that like, kind of swing that front foot out open early. And when you do that, you end up opening your front foot to home plate early, opening your hips early, and you lose some of that power. And you know, like I, I mentioned, you get a, you do a really good job. Let's just watch you go through a really good job generating momentum towards home plate. The main thing I want to point out is that in the process you don't want to open up those hips early because if you do you lose that benefit of the early momentum all that momentum is the main benefit of that is to get your hips and your body moving down the mound powerfully and if you stay closed off and loaded up with your hips that momentum towards your target will lead to more powerful hip and trunk rotation which is going to increase hip to shoulder separation, velocity, um, and power in your delivery. But if you swing that front foot open, so you watch your front foot here, if you open up early with that front foot and your hips open up early, you lose that benefit of that early momentum. Um, so that's the main thing I want you to see in this video. Because again, I think you do a lot of things really well. So let's just take you up to the height of your leg lift again. We'll go ahead and watch you, Darvish, go up to the height of his leg lift. All right, so he doesn't get as high as you, um, but does get nice and loaded up. You guys are both loaded up over your back foot real well here. See him coming out. And then you coming out basically where your, your knees even with your belt buckle right here. Similar positions, you know, closed off, really leading with your hip. Um, you can see he's starting to get going towards home plate even a little bit more here at this point. You basically see how he's kind of moving down and out right there at the same time, how his hips kind of starting to go that way. Just bring him down to right about right about there and then show you at the same stage. So pretty similar right there. I mean you got a different angle with your shoulders. And that's just a different style and how you guys throw, but not you no know, big difference. Really the, the key thing I would focus on is how you're leading with your hips very well. So nice job there. Now here's where it starts to, to change a little bit. So if we watch Darvish go out from here. Notice how as he's leading out with his hips, starting to get his body moving down the mound, he stays closed off with his knee and foot, and they remain kind of pointed towards third base. Okay, so he's still very loaded up with his hips as he's starting to move out. Now we just watch you go out. Let's go slow. So just pay attention to this foot right here, your lead foot. If you're starting off kind of closed, very much the way Darvish does. See how he's closed off, puts in a similar position to you right there. But then as he's moving out, he's not flying open with that front foot. 
So see how yours is kind of turning over? So by this stage in the game right here, he's still very closed off with the hips. You're starting to open up. You see that toe creeping out in front of your heel, really swinging out towards home plate there. Now you should advance the arms out even a little bit more. And see so he's making that progress towards home plate still, but that front leg is still very closed off. That knee's pointed towards third base. Or if I advance you out just a tiny bit more, your knee's already started to point towards home plate. That front foot swinging open towards home plate. So right here, you've started, you've unleashed um, hip rotation basically. When that front foot swings open, that kind of unleashes all that tension in your hips. So you're starting to unleash and open up the hips. You see how Darvish, even at this point, his foot hasn't even come down yet. He's, he's getting close to front foot strike, but he's still loaded up with those hips. See how different the position is with your hips? Your knees pointed almost towards home plate here. Your back leg starting to turn in, your back knee starting to turn in, where he's still in a position where he can drive out powerfully with his back leg. He's loaded up with his hips. And then just moving into front foot plant there. Let's just, this is kind of what you want to work on. How closed off he is, and then it's just bam at the last minute. So when his hips fully open up towards home plate, his arm's in a great position to throw. That's really the key. When the hips open up, you want your arm up, ready to throw. Now let me just bring you back in. So I mean right there, your hips are in a very similar position to him. Your belt buckle is pointed towards home plate. You know, you're, you're in a position where you want that front foot to be down here, the arm up ready to throw, but you're still going. And as a result, when you land, your front foot has swung open where it's really kind of pointed towards first base uh, a decent amount, which causes your lead leg, um, your knee to get outside of your ankle, um, pull off a little bit towards first base, which can put a little more stress on your throwing arm, cause it to drag. Now your timing with your throwing arm is not bad here. It's actually pretty decent compared to some of the other videos I saw of you. Um, and I think you do a very good job bracing up with your front leg. So like after front foot strike, I usually like to draw a line here, see if your knee collapses at all. And you really firm up extremely well. So, you know, very good job there. Um, again, I, I, you can see how that, that opening up with your front foot, I think, is causing you to swing and fly open towards first base a little bit. Um, but other than that, I think you do a lot of things very well in your pitching delivery. You advance Darvish out here. You see how nice and quiet he is with that front foot. One other thing I want you to see. Um, but the main takeaway I really want you to get from this video is how staying loaded and closed off with your hips longer as you move down the mound can lead to more powerful and explosive hip and trunk rotation.